Hey guys, looking to replace unit number two, just for the master bedroom. Got a bad heat exchanger in it. So we currently have geo systems hooked up. There's four geo systems hooked up to four systems. So that's unit number four, unit number three, two, and one. So I'm just looking to do furnace for this one only. Not for sure what we're going to be doing here. If we'll be doing a flu liner or if we'll let the homeowner take care of the flu liner. Um, if we do end up reworking the flu, I might take and put a uh, like 10 to 7 reducer or 10 to 6 reducer and then do a flu T versus going into the end of it there. And out the other side here, we have what used to be the water heater tied into it. Furnace going into the end of it, which feeds furnace number four over there. Now we have option to do PVC venting, possibly to go that way, kind of like they did with the tankless water heater. So that could be an option too. See what the homeowner wants to do. We got a 25 and a half inch wide coil. So, depending on what we do with the filter, we may end up moving the furnace to line it up on this side. Rework the electric as needed. Make sure we have a switch on there. Currently have the interface modules down here for all of them. stuff to get down All right here combustion air so they have a crawl space which feeds through there and then the opening to it is actually here so there's air going through there and onto the side over into this room and then also above the doors there they got the drop ceiling which the panel the tiles are open Uh, make sure we put some insulation on our refrigerant lines here. Looks like it's, it's falling apart. Gas line I may rework. So I may take it and we can actually turn that elbow up. Or if we disconnect it here, whatever we want to do, we'll try and get it out of the way of the filter. Otherwise, we'll just keep the filter facing going that way because that is a sliding glass door behind it.